Hello and welcome to Anton's TV. My name is Jack Duxbury. That's Oz behind the camera. And we're shooting out microphones. Uh, we just did a shootout. Uh, so we were set up for it. And this particular versus is between the new Universal Audio Bok 187 against the venerable U87 from Neumann. A little bit of preamble about what's going on. We've done lots of microphone shootouts over the years and never nailed it. I don't think we ever will nail it. I've gone to studios and we've tried to eliminate variables and do drums. This, I'm going to try and mimic what it might be like for someone at home and you'll see what it's like for us here, which is I've got a laptop, an interface, these two microphones on a stand. We've tried to put the capsules as close together and on axis as possible. We've got two matching pop filters, matched gain levels on the way in to the preamp. I've got this guitar here, which is a little bit odd, but I thought might as well change it up for a bit. It's uh, got down, tuned down to C open with tape wounds on. Uh, so hopefully that gives us a dark tone, which we don't have to EQ as much when I sing over the top some gibberish. Anyway, enough of that nonsense. Uh, I'm going to record the guitar, then we're going to record the vocals, and then we're going to game match them. I'll make sure the peak levels are the same, and we can listen and see if there's any differences. So let's go. be a good test for the noise. We've got loads of fans running and stuff like that. Life is much too short to sit and wonder Who's gonna make the next move? Cool. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just use the gain plugin in Logic to match the peak levels of all the audio. So a little bit of fiddling, uh, I'm sure Oz will film it, but that might be edited out. Let's get into it and match these levels, shall we? Cool, I matched up the gain levels at the equivalent gain settings on the preamp. There's a much hotter output out of the U87, but that's all right because we can add gain digitally here in there. Um, what you'll hear is, there is a lot of noise in this room. We've got multiple computers and things going on. Uh, but again, I'm just doing it because this is probably, this is what it's like when it's at my home as well. Uh, so we're hearing these things and often uh, it's a bit real worldy, hopefully. So let's listen to the Bach on the guitar first and then we'll switch to the U87. Let's have a listen. similar very similar other than the gain super similar once you match up the levels to me us yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, let's listen to the vocals my emo vocals here we go Buck. here we go Buck and roll baby <laughs> life is much too short to sit and wonder Who's gonna make the next move? Life is much too short to sit and wonder Who's gonna make the next move? Listen to that move and we'll just flip between the two of them. Who's gonna make the next move? Neumann. Who's gonna make the next move? Mm. One thing about posh microphones, which to me these are posh, right? You know, we're not talking entry level here by any stretch, is that uh, it, you know, there's no EQ on there, there's no compression. It's dealt with plosives and the S's. It sounds 
as much as I've heard, I hate listening to my voices. We all hate listening to our own voices. But it's uh, other than me, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, and I think the sensitivity of these microphones, again, it might be a word of warning. If you're in an environment where you've got a lot of residual noise or you're, um, you can't control your environment so much, maybe a high-end microphone like this isn't the best choice because they're so sensitive it's picking up the room but lovely tone on there there's a little bit more sizzle on the 187 right on the on the bock there is a fat mode in there as well which uh, i haven't played with and again i think we get off into the weeds there i'll put them uh, we've got the levels set at unity gain on there and let's flick between the two of them together the whole little ditty Life is much too short to sit and wonder Who's gonna make the next move Life is much too short to sit and wonder Who's gonna make the next move? Now with the same level of ambience, so it's using the chromaverb built into Logic, it's a little ambience, just to see how it responds to a little bit of source on top of there. Let's go with the Neumann again. Life is much too short to sit and wonder Who's gonna make the next move? Life is much too short to sit and wonder Who's gonna make the next move? Mmm! Interesting, I like the Bach. I mean, it's marginal. Uh, as, again, at the price point that these are, the box seems remarkably good value for what it is. Obviously, it's a new kid on the box. <laughs> we've got the fat mode, the pad on the U87. Obviously, we've got different patterns. So it's a multi-pattern microphone, the U87, which explains maybe a little bit more of the outlay. But uh, if you're like me, I spend most of my life in cardioid land. So... Yeah, interesting. I hope that was of some use. The main thing is that you can buy these from us. And um, so a lot of these are out in the store, actually. We have demo models. And if you ask nicely, you can find a little corner and be as emo as I've just been. Um, yeah, Oz has got the boxes here as well. Thank you, mate. Cheers. What's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, and we've said this before, that the UA, for me, wins hands down on the box. You think? Yeah. And also because I dropped it and it survived, remember? You know, I dropped it really, there's a dent in it where I dropped it. It's an interesting decision. It's an interesting decision, but uh, which uh, I'm sure you're going to make regardless of what I did in this video. But thanks again, Oz, especially for being here and dealing with this nonsense. And we'll see you again soon on Anderson's TV.